Hello everyone. Welcome to the Wiser Women in the Spotlight interview series. I am Yvonne A. Jones, Relationship Marketing Strategist, Business Coach and Consultant. I specialize in teaching business owners how to build strong customer relationships so they optimize profit, retain their clients, work with clients they love, and have fun in their business. Because if you're not having fun in your business, what's the point? So as the founder of the 15 Wiser community on Facebook, that's a community of dynamic women who want to do more, give more, and be more, it's my honor and delight to feature women of the, this community. So welcome to those of you who are joining us today. And I see you, Pauline. Pauline Daly Senior, thank you so much for being with us. I love that you, you support the members of the community so very much and you support me as well. I appreciate it and we appreciate it. Thank you. Now, those of you who are joining live as Pauline is, we invite you if you'd like to share this with others, then please feel, to do, feel free to do so. And if you'll be listening to the audio or watching the replay in the future, just go ahead and put a pound replay and we'll be happy to see that and we appreciate it. All right, so today our wiser woman in the spotlight is Lorraine M. Sanborn. Lorraine, thank you for being a supportive member of the 50 and wiser community. You're so welcome, Yvonne, thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Now, Lorraine is a native of Groton, Southeast Connecticut. And I know that real Connecticut people say Connecticut, Connecticut, right, Lorraine? They don't go all the way out. <laughs> However you want to say it's good with me. <laughs> Very good. Now, Lorraine had been the primary caregiver for her husband who passed away 10 years ago. She did what many women do. She put herself on the back burner for many years. Now, after 30 years in the life insurance industry and the loss of her husband, she became concerned about maintaining her health, her energy, her mental focus, and achieving her weight goal. Now, she was introduced to the Health Aging Nutritional System in Isogenics seven years ago, and that was the week she turned 72. She certainly doesn't look like what that addition says. She regained her energy as a result, her mental focus, and lost 14 pounds, and she's maintained that weight loss. But there's more to Lorraine because she ha has been very active in her community. Community involvement has always been important to her. And here are some of the things that she has been involved in. She's the founding member of Fresh Connections, 11 years ago, she founded a professional women's networking group, and the purpose of that group was to mentor and support women in every woman. She's an active member of the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce that supports the Miller spouse by providing information and events, events that address non-traditional and portable self-employment opportunities. And being a spouse of a retired military Navy chief, she's familiar with the difficulty that active duty spouses have in finding employment when they're stationed for specific periods of time at a duty station. So Lorraine, I'm sure a lot of people have been grateful to you for these organizations that each had a mission that from what I'm reading here, empowered women significantly. And Pauline is she saying that she's from Glastonbury. Did I pronounce that correctly? So is that close to Groton? It's about 40 minutes, yep, not far. Oh, lovely, okay. Now, Lorraine, I'd like to ask you, 
what to share with us just a little bit of what life was like working full time in whatever area you were working at the time and being a full time caregiver for your husband. Wow. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's, it's, that's an interesting question because my husband and I led a very full life. Um, we met in 1983. We got married in 1984 and immediately bought motorcycles. So we did a lot of touring across the US, uh, into Canada, and we spent many, many weekends traveling. Um, we also had two small grandchildren, so a lot of our time was spent with them. Um, what, what really kept me going during that time period was that he was very supportive of the fact that I would have to be out and I would be out networking, I would be out doing uh, places where we would be showing our products and, and looking for people. And it was really funny because he had green eyes and every once in a while he would look up at me and he'd be home alone and he'd go, home alone again. <laughs> and then we'd laugh about that because he understood and he wanted me to be out there and be successful. And it's funny because after he passed away, we had a dog that was uh, a dog that he really wanted to have. And every once in a while, little LP would look at me and I'd be on my way out the door. And I swear he was say she was saying to me, home alone again. So <laughs> I, I guess for me, I had to keep going and um, take care of myself along with taking care of him. So does that answer the question, Yvonne? It does. It certainly does, but it also takes me to another question because you refer to this, and this is something that many women do. We tend to put ourselves on the back burner, especially where, when we're in the caregiving mood. Now, how were you, and you alluded to that, so how were you able to realize that it's important to take care of you and that it's not selfish to do so? Yeah, I, I think a lot of us, we feel like if we're going to go out with our friend for dinner or we're going to go, I, I was doing water aerobics, so I would have that time for myself. I took, uh, made sure that I had the proper uh, nutrition. And, and you know, one of the things that I, I, I look back on now is that I didn't have the proper nutrition back then. And it was a real struggle to, to make meals that he would eat and, and that were good for me at the same time. So, um, I look back now and say I could not have cured any of his health issues, but I could have given him better nutrition and that would have made it easier for both of us to have better meals. Um, I kept in great contact with my family and just taking care of myself. Um, I didn't exercise a lot, but if I felt like I needed to, I took that time for myself. So taking care of yourself is really, really important along with taking care of the needs of the person that you're that you're the caregiver for. Absolutely. Thank you for that great answer because it really it takes balance. You want it, you are no good to the person you're taking care of if you're not taking care of yourself and you're not in good health because you have to give, give, give. There's very little coming back ex except appreciation, gratitude from the other person. So it's important that you take care of yourself and it, uh, eventually you were able to do that. Peggy, thank you so much for joining us. Peggy Mellon, <laughs> Peggy Bell, I'll just say that. All right, so now I go to one other question for you. Now that you've experienced the health benefits, including weight loss, which you've maintained, how are you helping others to achieve their health goals? Well, first of all, um, when I, so with the company that I'm with, I guess we all know that I'm with Isagenics. And it's a very supportive uh, community that I belong to and the culture of the company is very supportive. So how I help people with weight loss, with healthy aging, because I've been using the, the uh, healthy aging and the weight loss products now for be seven years in, in December. So if you were to say to me, Yvonne, I, I need to lose 20 pounds. What can you do to, to help me with that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about who you are, what do you eat, how much are you spending, what are you looking for, what's your goal, your health goals. 
So I do a pretty invasive, I don't want to use the word invasive. I use a, um, a group of uh, questions that I'll ask so that I know what you're looking for. It's not about me. It's about what you need to have. Mm -hmm. And then we do that assessment based on your needs. So we have products that people can lose weight, have more energy, better performance in the gym. So it's a matter of knowing what your need is. I'm not here to sell you a product. I'm here to make sure that you have a healthy lifestyle. And I, I am a testament, I think, to the products that I know that they work because, like I said, I've been using them now for almost seven years. And you mentioned that I've, you know, I have more energy. I have, I just feel so much better. And I know that if I didn't have those products for me, I don't know how I would feel today. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I see a lot of my, my peers, women that I, people that I know that are my age, 70, 79. And I, I just want to reach out and say, hey, let's, let's talk. Let's talk. I'm not a heavy salesperson. I'm not pushy. All I want to do is give you the information. And then you make the decision on what it is that you want to do. And, you know, if you're, a, if you're an 8, 9, or a 10 and really wanting to do something for yourself, then we talk. If you're not, then I'll say, you know, what else can I do for you? What what other questions can I ask? What are you going to be ready? So it's not a matter of I don't want anybody to feel that they can't connect with me, that I'm going to try and sell them something. I really, truly care about their health. Yeah, and you mentioned something there that's so very important. You mentioned about building those relationships, that is what the customer wants. What the prospect wants is not what you want. That's the difference between transactional where you're just selling something and relationship building where you actually are concerned about the customer or the prospect. So that's excellent. Now, you were talking about isogenics a moment ago, and I know that as a part of direct sales, it generally involves building a team. You just spoke about you're not trying to sell people anything that they don't need. But I also know that you are building a team because that's what's required to be successful in direct sales. So if anyone has questions for you, how can they get in touch with you? Share that with me and I'll just quickly type it in the, um, the comment box here, the chat box. Yeah, before I do that, one thing I didn't say is that, you know, when you're building a team of people, you have to use the products and you, I can't sell something I haven't used. So our system is you use the products, you're really happy. And now your friends are saying, wow, what are you doing? So now you're going to share with them what you're doing. And then we, we have a whole system in place that trains you on how to share that information with people. So how you can reach me is my cell phone is 860-235-0257. My website is www.lorainesanborn.isogenics.com. And okay. My Facebook uh, is there. And if you want all of my contact information, my digital business card is just text the word energy to 21,000 and you'll have all of my contact information and you can save it right to your phone. Okay, I think I've got it all here. 860-235-0257. And then it's lorainesanborn.isogenics.com. Correct. Our text energy to 21,000. Correct. Correct. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Now, Lorraine, before we wrap up today, what is one advice you would give to women who are of a certain age, women who are 50 and wiser, the 60 and wiser about their health? What is one tip that you would like to share before we wrap up today? I guess the answer is, you know, when, when I decided that my focus was women 50 plus like you, Yvonne, um, our lives are changing. Our, you know, my, my daughter now is an empty nester. She's going to be 55. My grandson has just gone off to college. Um, her daughter is out and about in, in a relationship. 
So I think the what we have to start looking at is we are going to get older. So our bodies are changing. So I guess my answer to that question is you need to start looking at exercising if it's something you want to do. And believe me, that's not something I really want to do. Um, getting the proper nutrition, making sure your family is properly has proper nutrition because you know, being that caregiver for my husband was a challenge. I wouldn't have done it for anybody else. But when you love somebody, you're going to take care of them. So get yourself and your family prepared for all those life changes that are going to be going on. Mm -hmm. And at the top of everything, take care of yourself so that you can take care of others. That's the message I'm also hearing from you as well, correct? Absolutely. You know, just before COVID hit, I started water aerobics. And that obviously it stopped. But that would, to me, that was a great form of exercise. I got to meet other, other women and I network a lot. So I think that's, if I could add that to how I take care of myself and I would advise others to be, be sociable, get out and meet people. I'm building my business now on Zoom because there are no networking groups that I can go out to. So, just just take care of yourself just if you need vitamins if you need you drink more water i don't know just just take care of yourself because like you said yvonne i couldn't take care of ray if i didn't take care of myself and mm -hmm. i had two young grandchildren they're now 24 and 19 but i've been a part of their lives and i've not missed any events uh, my grandson wrestles and he's been wrestling since he was five. Now he's in college, 300 mi 200 miles away. I don't know where he, Ethan, if he's going to get to wrestle, but I need to stay healthy so that I don't miss anything with my grandchildren. Excellent. Thank you for being here, Jerry. Jerry St. John joined us. So thank you so much, Lorraine. You have shared quite a bit of inspirational information for us as or it's, it's kind of like a reminder of the importance of taking care of ourselves because yes we are at that certain age but also it brings along with it others that we have to take care of whether our spouses our grandchildren as in your case or whatever it is we need to take care of us and spend time on ourselves and it's not selfish to do so not at all Thank you so much for being here today. And thank you to our viewers for joining us. We certainly appreciate it. And again, I, as I always close, that if you're a woman who is 50 and wiser and you're not yet a member of the 50 and wiser community on Facebook, I invite you to join. This is a safe space. It's a group of dynamic women. And as I said before, these are women who want to do more, give more and be more. So thank you again, Lorraine. And until next time from the Wise Woman in the Spotlight series, it's Yvonne A. Jones and Lorraine. Lorraine Sanborn. <laughs> thank you. And I'm looking forward to anybody that wants to reach out, just PM me uh, on Facebook. Uh, I'm also on LinkedIn uh, with Lorraine M. Sanborn. So you can reach me there also. Excellent. Bye now. Bye now, everybody. Thanks for coming.